ile mambo imepangwa mkutano wa rais ya kesho watu waweze kujua the statement of those people that done very shocked totally wakati mlisikia libondo ile mambo aliingia hiyo ni strategy moja ilikuwa imepangwa ili itolewe ndiyo rais akienda huko sagana 3 ndio ionekane ni kama ataweza pata simba dhivuti huko this is just a plan lakini very shallow plan plan ndogo sana plan nduni sana kwa serikali na kwa lazima mwenyewe kupanga jambo ndogo eh ili ionekane kama ataweza pata simba dhivuti sasa simba dhivuti hii mnatakuta alivondo huo is alivondo huo is alivondo hiyo mambo yote yanapauka pauka wametengeneza tu hii ni mambo imetengenezwa imepangwa eh? kutoka OP ati ndio aone kama itafanya kazi the question is yeye anazunguza mambo ya miaka sita. na miaka sita hii ni ile ndege ilikuwa imeenda na rais ikakosa kupoa clearance ile sehemu ilikuwa inaenda ikabidi irudi for four hours with the clearance that is normal kwa inchi yoyote ya mtu kama rais sio kitu kidogo lazima iwe na clearance sasa wana Musa Livondo kitu ya miezi ya, ya miaka sita, aone kama atapata huo is Livondo 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 huo is Livondo anaonekana kama tu siku ya sarakasi ikikaribia tu wakati ya siasa anatoa sarakasi zake aanze kukoni wa indi kuzunguka kuonekana this is a strategy for the government And I think we should not be that cheap Kenyans. Kumambo madogo kama hiyo. Na nasikitika kwa watu wa strategy ya rais. Kama huyo ndiyo huyo na Sabina Chege kusema rais hakushinda. Eh? Unajua anajisema siku nyingine mambo ya Sabina Chege yakifika pale fulani kazi yake ni kutelemusha kutelemusha kutelemusha. Hawezi kujua anazungumzia nini. You cannot say that president Akushinda na wewe uko pande yake ya kusaidia president you cannot say it. I think the side of the president ile watu wanafanyia strategy uh, it, it is very sad very very sad ile ingine sasa ile mtu anasukuma <laughs> atiyodinga <laughs> mimi namuzikia huko Mombasa akitukana watu tu anabweka kama umbwa wewe unataka kiti ya ya rais ya Kenya na unatukana watu wanabweka kama umbwa hiyo ni matamshi gani mnatoa I think there is a problem and it's not a small problem it's a big problem I would advise the present kesho be careful ya mazungumzo yako utazungumza kwa sababu Kenyans ile shida wako naye they want to hear the hope lakini kama ni watu ya strategy kama hiyo ya kwenda kutoa mambo ya sarakasi ya jivondo ya kuzungumza mambo wengine watu unasukuma wakiita watu wengine wanabweka kama umbwa i, I think it's so dangerous haitasaidia wewe tunauliza rais sisi tunakupenda na hatuna shida na tulikuchagua tupe nafasi tuende pahali tutaenda tuchaguane kwa haki upumzike yale mambo yote umefanya yote na yeye wanajua hawahitaji kuambiwa tunasikia watu wakisema oh tutangoja kesho tuambiwe Rais atatuambia ile mambo yote alifanya. Kwani wao walikuwa wewe wa, wa, are you? Ulikuwa ameli kama ulikuwa wapi? Why you not in Kenya? There's nothing new I've been told. We know. We know what we have been done when we are kwa BGD wakiwa na deputy president. Everything we know. Tunajua bei ya unga vile imeenda, bei ya mafuta vile imeenda, bei ya mataifa ya fertilizer vile imeenda. There's nothing ya kusema ati tunatazamia tuambie utaambiwa nini? Atatatuambia ni nani? Yaani wewe unabebwa kichwa yako na mtu akwambie pahali utaenda. Before that Ulikuwa unabebwa kichwa wako na nani? You have no capacity of carrying your brain with your head. You have nothing between your two ears kusikiza na kujua. Hakuna mtu anasimama Kenya hatumjui. Track record yake. Kama ni yeye leader kuhamahama, kurukaruka, he has two master's degrees. Ya propaganda na confusion. We know that. Na matuzi sasa ameongezewa ingine ya tatu kutukana wana Kenya people wanajua pahali wako and let me tell you mount kenya are not changing 
allow me to dispose to people. Muende huko kwa wingi kabisa. I've had the plan. Mutatua 50,000 kila mutu. 50,000 kila mutu. 50,000 kila mutu. Na munajua kaida tukipua mukitoka vile munakuwaga. Si munajua nyimbo yetu mbada ya kutoka. You know that. So, akuna mutu wana badilisha. Sisi, lakini mkune hamuna. In fact, wakati watu munalia hiyo. Muchukue hiyo pesa na mutulete. Wale hatuna pesa. Wale wanakufa na jaa mutulete hiyo pesa. Hii pesa ni ya COVID. Mujue. Ile mambo yote watu wako kwa shimo kwa sababu ya COVID. Hii pesa yote metoka hapo. We used to give in the budget 20 billion state house. Raisi ya meyaka budget ya 100 billion kwa mezi yake tano. What does it show you? Wana tafuta pesa ya kuiba di watafuta njia ya kufinance campaign. Should we be focusing on that? All we should be focusing na kuona siyasa yetu na election yetu. IBC yetu itafanya kazi ikiwa na finance ya kutosha. Hii lending hii na mina zikia daila udinga atanataka kuwa president wa Kenya. Mina zikia akiwa Mombasa anadivedi hii pesa hii ya ceiling eh? from 9 trillion anasema hata ikiwa hata 11 hiyo ni kitu kidogo sana. Yes, ni kidogo kwa sababu munaiba munafanya pamoja. Hiyo ni munafanya siyasa nae. How can you say from 9 to 11.5 trillion Bila kupitia bunge, imefitishua wapi. Hiyo ni ukwara ya hali ya juu. And I want to tell the president and whoever will be elected in Kenya to assume the institution of Kenya. Parliament, judiciary, the executive. Three. Lakini sasa hii selikali, imeua mbili. Parliament, corruption. Mpesa tunatupa huko. Ile ingine, judiciary. Wanatukana judiciary kama kitu ingine. They don't want to hear the democracy and the freedom. Kuninga na constitution, ile hiko ya judiciary, ya bunge. But we are to eight days, we are counting days. Najua hata kama mtu mefungwa meaka kumi hile tumefungwa na hiyo serikali mefita ten years. We are counting the remaining days, not the days we have stayed. Unayesabu kama mtu yiko jela. Hapana unayesabu hile meaka umeka. Unayesabu hile meaka si umebakisa. We are remaining five months. Na watu wasipikile mutawusa propaganda kwa watu yetu. Kwanza Mauti Kenya. Let me tell you. If Mauti Kenya say no, they know what they are saying. Mutapanda Mauti Kenya. Mutafanya nini. Mutatavuta ngasi. Mutatavuta viyatu ya sinu. But let me tell you. Mauti Kenya knows and they have voted. And they know where they have voted. They have voted for peace. They have voted where they are supposed to vote. They have voted watu watakuja kuletea si pataisa ya chini. Begu ya chini. Kila kitu ya chini. Night now ni metoka kwa shamba ni metoka kwa na kujalibu kundua patraiza. You cannot be able to buy. Begu. Ya yeah, two acres. Two and a half acres. It is 5,000. Begu. Ya yeah, maindi. Patraiza. It is 6,500. This one imeenda juu. Hata chakula akukula ndiyo wende huko inaenda juu. These people have no mercy with Kenyans. Present. We know what you have done good. What you have failed, we can tunaza kulekebisha. But don't force yourself kujingiza kwa hii shida. Hii shida jishida baba yako. Ikashinda moi, haiku kuisha. Ikashinda kibaki haiku kuisha. Itakushinda. Hata yule atakuja, hata maliza shida zezo wa Kenya. It's a process. And the process must be respected. Lakini juu ya hiyo yote, ninauliza. Tunaangalia macho na wanainji muangalia kwa macho. Watu wato wato tunyanyeza sisi. We are using Twitter and Facebook everywhere now. And we are able to reach to each other. And the information it is there. Kwa hivyo, watu wale wako kwa Rift Valley. I ask you please, kindly. Si tukai kwa amani. Wamejaribu kupiganisha sisi, it will not work. Wamejaribu kuweka mambo yote ya confusion, haiwezi. We are ready to vote. Tarehe tisa, tunapiga kula. Whoever will be the president and the president yet. And we know the people who are selling and who are getting this seat. Hakuna mungine. The three group, muna wajua. Deputy president, musalia mudavadi, na weta. Na wale wengine wanaendelea fanya nii kuja. Nasikia wengine wanaanza kuteta sana sana. But I don't understand them. I don't want to mention even my friends. 
who gave a statement that I think I didn't know, I didn't hear what he was saying at all. The only thing I heard him say, the Yona in his idea, because I want to ask you, you know, I can't even go to Moses Queen, my friend. The Vondo has come at all, it's a project of the government. Na ukitaka kuingia shida. Lakini na kujua ni mtu courageous. Ni vondo wachana na ye. Iyo anasungumuza akivuta hile kitu ya sema ka tuwa. Na vuluta na sema tuwa. Unaijua ni nini hiyo. Iyo ni vondo diwa mevuluta. Na anakubaliwa kuvuluta hiyo kitu. Kenyans, be peaceful. Wala wanaenda kesho. And then mchukue. Na mkichukua. Mkuje mwagaie watu wale wako na nja. I'm happy for that kwa sababu watu watapata pesa ya mbegu. Watapata pesa ya kupanda patalaisa. Na watapanda pesa ya kusaidia wale wako kwa sipitali na wale wagonjwa. Na bwana mheshimiwa ukiangalia vile Livondo ameweza kushangiliwa kote nchini na wale ambao pengine mnasema kwamba ni wale walio mtuma. Wewe ukifanya makosa e, tuseme wewe Gachagua na wale wengine huwa mnashikwa uh, Ijumaa usiku na kukuja kufunguliwa Jumatatu. Je, unaona kama kwamba serikali ina ina tunasema kile tunasema ya kwamba kuegemea umrengo fulani na pengine matamshi ambayo walisema Livondo ni matamshi ambayo kwa katiba ya Kenya mtu anafaa kushikwa na kuhukumiwa kifo kwa sababu ya kuhatarisha uhai wa rais. Je, unaona kama kwamba uh, Livondo anafaa kuchukuliwa hatua gani? Sasa nimesema tu saa hizi na ni swali nzuri meuliza. Livondo is a project for the government. Ya kujaribu kukutisha ndio watu ya central waone ni kama rais alikuwa kwa shida. That is just all. There's nothing else there. Kwa hivyo serikali hii inacheza mchezo mwingine mbaya sana. Waaibu. Jina ya president kusema alikuwa anataka kuwa it's not something ya kuchezewa. It is dangerous. Because the president is there for his seat. Lakini mimi nakuuliza ndio ujue ni project ya serikali. Unataka useme hiyo anasemekana miaka sita. mpaka leo hiyo ndege ilikuwa inaenda na kurudi. Nataka kuuliza we don't have intelligence in Kenya. Hatuna watu intelligence. Hatuna watu walijua hiyo. Livondo na bangi zake za kutoka huko nini Western unataka uniambie hakukukua na watu wengine wa intelligence? Hakuna mtu wa intelligence serikali. This is why I'm telling you it's a government project. If it's not as you have said it is too bad angekuwa ameshikwa na amewekwa ndani. Analipuka oh sijui wapi sijui lana sijui report atoka wapi that hiyo ni hiyo ni ile tu kukunywa bangi unaanza kuzungumza vile umeambiwa tata tata bila kujua ni kitu gani the government has security and the security of the president is very tight it's not a joke lakini hata wale wengine waliambiwa ilikuwa anataka kuua deputy president kwa hoteli ile plan walikuwa naye uliona kama ishukura watu yote haikuchukura watu yote so this government has failed and that's why tuasema muendelee kuvunga mizigo yenu Gazeti ya jana nilifurahisha sana nimeona. <laughs> Imechora kabuli ya jibili. Na imetoa mkono. Kumbe mtu anaanza kuvuka. Nimetoa inatoa mkono kwa kabuli. Hakuna mtu akuvuka kwa hiyo. This government is dead. Ukiona hata governor hapa na kuru na ni wajibili. Rafiki wa rais amewacha hiyo chama ametengeza chama yake. It's confirming that party it is dead. Na mtu akikupa wewe usivuka. Hiyo mila kwa ya dea hakuna. Ya kukupa na kuvuka. I think that's what I can tell you. No. Mheshimiwa, uh, swali la mwisho maybe. Tunaona kwamba kama jana uh, gavana Kenya Kenya Njui kwa Facebook page yake alisema kwamba nyinyi MPs are the problem because nyinyi mko na powers za kufanya ku regulate zile vitu zinafanyika ili kama ni cost of production ya farmers kuwe chini. Kama ni zile policies ama laws mnatengeneza zinafaa kuwa zisaidie mkulima kupata kama ni fertilize kwa chini. Anasema you are the problem. What unaweza sema aje kuhusu Unajua Lee ni mtu wa one term. Alikuwa MP one term, akakuwa deputy president, eh, eh, vice wa eh, ministry eh, one term. Amekuja hasa atakuwa governor one term. Oto hajui ile kitu anasimuliza nini. Five years ya jibili, we used to do that. We used to pass the laws. Na inapita. This now and I have told you Parliament imekuwa hijacked na executive. They work there with the cartoon. Ile watu yote tulikuwa kwa viti. How can we be asked anything? Tulitoroa viti sisi wote ikawekwa watu ya ODM. 
So the ODM should answer this question. It's not us. Because how and your sasa wako kwa kamati za kufanya hiyo kazi yote. We are not responsible ourselves. When we were there five years, we are doing those things. Kwa njia mzuri sana. For now we don't, we are not there. Mwask muuliza ODM. Hawa anasema hata tukuweka siri ni hata hiyo lila anasema. Anasema siyo shaka na siyo shida. How can be somebody who is defending the Kenyans? Kusema pesa imekopo wabaka imeenda 11.5 trillion. Na anasema hiyo siyo maneno. Ato wakingia watalipa. Watalipa ametoa pesa hati. Hii ni pesa ambaye mwana inchi atalipa ye mwenye. Kwa hivyo, hiyo ni kakikisha ya kukwambia. We are not the problem. Ato. Wewe kama sasa mi kupanyi na democracy na freedom yangu. Kwa na bahati constituency. I'm being elected in number one. In 11 constituency. Goja tagetano na pawa ni wadi ingine na mesikia ni metumua message. Being number one in Kenya. On investment of the CDF project money. Kwa sababu ni na uwezo wangu. Ni na uhuru wangu. Ni na decision is angu. Lakini ni kuja kuwa kwa serikali kubwa. Iyo ni mambo ya nice. Na walipo ingia waka shikana na lila. How can we work on that? They are in the same bedroom. Doing all those things. We cannot be answered. Hata nutu wa yezi kuhulishwa hiyo maneno for now, for five years. Yetu tukua ni plan hile ingine tukua na mbeleni. And that's why we have it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much.